The man to watch. In fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today? Live on EA TV. And hello from the city of Portsmouth. Welcome to Fratton Park. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry. And sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And coming up for you very shortly, live action from League One. It's Portsmouth and they face Shrewsbury Town. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Number 26, Tom Lowry. And number 11, Ronan Curtis. And this is the starting 11 for Portsmouth. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession just to give them a threat going forward. And so the battle commences. Blake. Lowry. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Might be able to set up the chance. And a very good challenge. Thompson. Blake. And it's with Curtis. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, the stats tell you everything. He's a top-class Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. And they need to get tighter. And a body in the way. Tom Lowry Lowry Lane well, just the tackle that was needed
It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Might really be able to trouble them here. Oh, great defending. Terrific pass. Blake. Effective challenge. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Tom Bayliss. This is looking threatening. And he takes it on. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. And a goal to tell you about in the Barnsley game, here with the information as always, is Alex Scott. It's a goal for Barnsley. It's all even Stevens at 1 1 with 31 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Elliot Bennett. He continues his run. Can he put it in? And a fine stop. Now sending it in. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. And taking it away. Curtis. Can they get in behind them? Chance to finish! Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And over comes the corner. It comes to absolutely nothing. He's got to clear his lines. 
And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Fratton Park. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Takes aim. Oh, a tremendous block. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Played over, not the best clearance. Shea Dunkley. Very quick thinking there. Could be a chance to break here. And it has been a priority for Tottenham to get this deal over the line. And apparently everything now signed and agreed, Stuart. Well, with a price tag of £80 million, the expectations will be huge. He's a player with great skill, but the fans will be demanding an immediate... And still danger here! But no, the flag is up and it's offside. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. That's useful play. But they took please care of the situation please defensively. Please contact your nearest steward. Thank you. Luke Leahy. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And back with Blake. Oh, the threat is there. Putting his body on the line. Well, very effective play in possession. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Thompson. Pat with it. Really good high press. A foul, but advantage played. Can he put it in? A goal! Let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. contest 4-0 pressure exerted but he keeps the ball and well, that's the end of that move for now A really effective shielding under pressure this might be ideal for the counter 
He's in behind. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Coming onto the pitch, number nine, Colby Bishop. Cruz. Well, not hard to read that pass. Oh, he saved it well. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the danger still on. Well, another corner following on from the last one. And he's clear as lines. The danger not over. Defensive excellence there. Ten minutes to go then. Oh, breezing past him. Can he finish? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. In position. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Right, balls in the net in the Barnsley game. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Barnsley. It was a free kick that deflected off the wall and the goalkeeper had no chance with that one. They're back in this now with under five minutes left to play. The fans are enjoying what they're seeing here today, Derek. Many thanks, Alex. So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what can you say oh, about Oh, hang this? on, Stuart, look at this! And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again! They simply can't handle him! Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. An out and out pasting 6 0. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Udo. Denver Hume. And back with Blake. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. <laughs> and there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces.
Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.
We simply have to focus on this man. Three goals in his last three matches, and you can't argue with that sort of form. We'll have the action on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And coming up for you very shortly, live action from League One in Sheffield Wednesday, up against Portsmouth. Well, Derek, we're looking forward to this game. You can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. the Sheffield Wednesday starting 11. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. Well, let's dissect the Portsmouth starting 11. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And now they get the ball rolling. Smith. Well, very effective play in possession. And good work to deny the chance. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, no end product. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And support available. But they dealt with the threat first. Well, as you can see, the visitors come into this game full of confidence in front of goal. The best attack in the league statistically. Oh, can he score here, Derek? There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? A fine use of the ball. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. And the keeper had the measure of it.
So the corner played into the box. Not the best clearance. Will he finish? And the keeper more than equal to it. Tom Lowry. Well timed tackle. And back with Blake. Lane. It's a good looking ball in behind. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Oh, moving it nicely. And a long way out here. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. Thompson. Really good interception. Smith. Do they mean business on this occasion? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it petered out. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, there it is. The away side haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. A wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Rhys James. Bannon. And back with Blake. And he's through here. Lowry just made sure nothing came of that. Nearly at the break then. And the visitors have eked out a lead. Stuart, an opportune moment, I think, to get your assessment. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. Marlon back. And a Portsmouth throw in here. Rafferty Marlon Pack and it's with Curtis plenty of options but nothing comes of it good defending it was the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace Surprised to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Michael Smith. Well, they might be onto something. Oh, magnificent! 
magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. And so it is. The first half story has been written. So back on the way here into the second half. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Windass. Well, no stopping him. It looks promising. Well, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, we wondered if this deal was going to be done. In fact, it has now been done, Stuart. Well, certainly... And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Must take the lead here, reading it well. He's got to score, and a goal! In the lead again, fully deserved! Well, it's the perfect finish, isn't it? As you can see, you can't place it better than that, can you? Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2 1 lead as things stand. He's protecting it effectively. George Byers. He's in control of the situation. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Opportunity it is. They just couldn't stay in front. And now, this match is all square. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. away again at two all now we have 30 minutes to go can he get them in front a goal that's two for him today they simply can't stop him no wonder he's celebrating Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that.
And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Liam Palmer. He's in behind. Determined defending. Ground to make up. And perhaps this corner can assist them. So a personnel change then. And he's fired over the corner. And the danger's still on. Now they can bring it out now. The referee spotted the infringement. And it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. see this time and time again tonight it's a fantastic bit of technique just to get that much lateral movement on the ball wonderful strike and it's level again here both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle just 20 minutes remaining now. And it's a quality pass. In position, but pressure to cope with. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Force was a little wasteful in possession. Palmer. It's with Josh Windass. Fruitful looking attack. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a tremendous block. Now the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? And now the delivery. Good pressure, can they make something of this? And the referee blows for a foul. stage could be decisive and space to cross it long range effort and taken cleanly by the goalkeeper very quick thinking there And I'm hearing a change to the scoreline in the Derby County match. Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Derby County. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 84 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Physically strong and secure on the ball. And the right place to cut out the pass. Now options are plenty. They had to react, and did. Byers. Tension building still level. And options in the centre. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. Oh, 
he's really opened them up here. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. And that will be all for this game anyway. And defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.